Well, howdy everybody out there in YouTube land. This is an amateur artist Mark D. Chandler once again from Man Land. And yep, I did shave the old beard off. Well, I didn't actually shave. I used clippers. So I got that stubble look. But uh, man, it feels so much nicer out here. Even though it's still boiling hot. Now, Friday the 13th in May. That's May 13th, which happened to be a Friday. Of the year of our Lord 2022 happened to have been my birthday. So I kind of bought me some fajita pans that I found there at the Common Sense Thrift Store and I was very ecstatic to get them. However, on Friday when I got home, we and them decided to give me some gifts. Now, before I open this right here up, I got to show you inside the house one that Wee Wee homemade just for herself. To me. Here inside the man cave, this is what we be made for me. I tell you what, she's good at crafts and stuff now. She made me this little, <laughs> kind of like mash. You know, mash that had that totem pole where the sign says, uh, I live this way and uh, Honolulu this way and everything. Well, there's a man in camp. And uh, Wee Wee's Corner. I know, she spelled it in French. I didn't know what the hell that meant when I first met her. Like, oi, oi, oi. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, a man man's bushcraft kitchen. Oh, and by the way, she did another craft item for me a lot earlier. And uh, I don't own an actual camper, but I thought that's just pretty dead gum neat. Nice little addition. I like that. It, uh, it, of course, ain't going outside either. Now, to try to keep this video short, I'm going to go ahead and let you know that Wee Wee is very creative. She's got imaginations. And she's into this arts and craft type of thing now, which I think is pretty daggum neat. Wow, I could go on and on about it, but uh, maybe in another video. But Wee Wee was happy for me to get home on my birthday night and uh, check out the pink camouflage. <laughs> well, inside... She bought me one of these tong turners and uh, got a spatula and a tong flap. She says, I remember or I know how much you hate using them tongs trying to char uh, turn them and, uh, and adjust and move around them, them uh, charcoals. I'm like, yeah, because an actual grill tong is so flimsy you can't even pick up a charcoal briquette, briquette and put it to the side. You can't. They're too wimpy, man. They're too wimpy. So this was a, one of the things that she gave me. This one right here is a light mix, which is an LED deal here that uh, you put batteries in there and they kind of like uh, light up your area. And I thought that was kind of neat because we have used the one that Ranger Cookie gave me before and uh, had some fun with it. And it was all, all kind of fun. So I appreciate that. That will be used, especially at night when it's not so damn hot. Huh. But the third item is something that she kind of homemade it herself. I think it's homemade. It looks like it's homemade. Yeah, it's definitely homemade. Anyway, this is a solar lantern. lantern and that's definitely going to come in handy at nighttime out there at one of the two of the camps. Because solar power, if you can charge these puppies up in what is evidently now a super charged up day <laughs> with the heat... Yeah, it's going to work good at night. But I don't know if you can see that filament in that bulb or not too good. But that is a weird looking LED thing there. I've never seen LEDs done like that. Then, according to Wee Wee, and I'm going to pick this one up here. It was wrapped in a shallow box, but it's got brown puppy dog prints on it. So, oh, it tape stuck in it. All right. I got one of them grill trays right there. I think this is a flame flame go. I thought it was charbroil, but anyway, flame go. And they, they say this is good stainless steel, not stainless steel, good heavy metal. But it's wimpsy, wimpsy. It's about like a pizza pan. But it's got all them holes in it. And that allows the smoke to come up through when you're cooking delicate items like shrimp or maybe some asparagus and you do it on the grill. Yeah, kind of neat daggum thing. Matter of fact, if I don't quit blinding, oh, blinding myself, I may actually use this during my fajita cookings that I'm going to do here shortly after this video. And she also gave me some flame, 
flame go wire uh, there's two of them these are the wire things you put on the grill that does technically the same thing as this one does but this is a service is a lot more shall I say disposable and allows a lot more smoke to come through which I'm not a, I'm not a great fan of smoked food all the time uh, yeah I'm kind of like in the pioneer days you know pioneers used to cook on uh, wood fired wood fire fire all the time you know how they must have got sick and tired of tasting smoke on everything especially their clothes when they were cooking and they had to go to bed because they didn't have running water to take a shower every night they had to go get out of a well then they had to heat the water up on the same daggum fire <laughs> that has smoke in it so now you got smoke flavored water you're taking a bath with yeah I'm just not a fan of smoke flavor all the time is what I'm trying to say then I got this here package which is unopened from uh, apparently it was Bones Yard I would turn around and show you his address and I would show you my address but uh, he, this boy here he don't even know where he lives at he he can't even spell anyway uh, it says here on the side it says open on this side only or something like that so here's the unboxing yeah he left a message on here it says please record unbox ing and then a smiley face at the end so here you go mr. bones yard aka TC uh, where's that pool tab at hey, there ain't, there ain't no pool tab on this thing so I'm gonna have to do it this way I thought so. I mean, I really thought so. I, I thought he would do this. And then when I seen it, I couldn't help but laugh. I thought it was going to actually scare me, but it didn't scare me. It just made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely bone jar. That's why he wanted me to open it on that side. <laughs> he got three rubber snakes in there. <laughs> Get out of here, bug. I'm, I'm busy. I'm having too much fun. So I got me three plastic snakes. I hope they're plastic. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, only Bone Jar would do something like that, I tell you. <laughs> I really thought he was going to put snakes in the end of it, and I was going to jump when I opened it up, and I'd be damned if he didn't put some snakes in there, but they look fake. So I didn't jump. But <laughs> that, that was pretty daggum cool. That's why he wanted me to open that side there first. So uh, I'm going to grab this big box out of here first. Wait, wait, I think there's a note. There's something. Yeah, there's something in there. Hey, happy birthday cakes. All right. I, I could have used these. I really could have. But um, we, we and them bought me an ice cream cake, and I got one slice out of it. And that was the day after my birthday, and the rest of it's gone. They, they ate it all. They ate my birthday cake. Anyway, let me pull out this box right here. It's kind of wrapped in some stuff. There's quite a few things in here. I kind of like this. Let me see what he got here. Another piece of paper. Hey, Bones, 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 Bones Yard, man. I tell you, man, the, the, this was a three day mailing, three day shipping, priority mail for $16.10. Man, you could have dropped it off here and saved yourself $16.10, but you know, whatever. Right. Hey, there's a, there's a lot of puzzles. Ooh, it's a fantasy Captain Crunch. You daggone right. <laughs> Captain Crunch cereal. And uh, no, the girls ain't getting my Captain Crunch. This is my favorite in the whole wide world. Although I don't eat cereal no more. It's been a long time. But, yeah, yeah. They ate my damn birthday cake. They ain't getting my damn Captain Crunch. That's for damn sure. Next time I'll, I'll, I'll put a snake in their bed. I will. I'll put a snake in their bed. Now, let me... Oh, no. Going back in the bag is over here in the box. Let me get a piece right here out. Okay, we got some... Uh, 
we got some Jurassic Park with some paint. Hey, at least it ain't paint by numbers. But yeah, it kind of gives you a challenge to see how good your artistic skills are. Because on the back there, they're doing shadings and everything. That's kind of neat. I kind of like that right there. Yeah. That's, that's something I'm kind of interested in. They don't give you much paint in there, do they? No, that must have been a dollar store. Paint your own work of art. And then, then, right, got some more paper and some more paper and now a card it says Mott M-A-R-T by the way my name is spelt M-A-R-T not with a K I'm not complaining but there's still a lot of folks that don't understand this is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler so I say it fast and it sounds like Mark so I'm going to give you a little bit of leeway but this is a Hallmark card I'm going to open this one here up legit my workman's this is why I use a work box cutter I hope there's some money in here like a million dollar bill <laughs> probably be monopoly money anyway I was I was really expecting some army in here man I really I really was I was I was gonna expect some army in uh Check for pennies too, man. There might be some pennies there, huh? Yeah. Ain't no money so far. But well, here's a card. It says, Happy Birthday Party Source. And it's a genuine Hallmark card because it says so on the back. Expressions. <laughs> now, let me take a look inside. Make sure you celebrate big. Happy Birthday, Manland 121, 513, 2006. 5-13-2016 That's what it says on the corner there I don't get it This is 22, 2022 But anyway, there's the <laughs> I, really, I really don't get it 5-13-2016 <laughs> Are you sure the Yankee didn't do this? She don't even know my birthday is 1967. I was born in 67, which makes me now. Yeah, the double five, double nickels, that type of thing. You know, you remember back in the day when you used to be, be able to buy a Coca Cola for just a nickel? I don't. I wasn't born way back then. I was born in the old cool school days, which is now 2000. See, 22, but I was born back in 1967, so yeah, I'm a 60s baby, kind of letter, lettered in midway. But anyway, that's the unboxing. This is the show, and I show do appreciate it. Bone of Bones Yard and Wee Wee or Wee Wee World, and to her daughter Christy. Uh, and I'm thinking the Yankee actually had a hand in this. I really do. <laughs> so until next time. Wishing you and y'all a very happy YouTube experience out there, and remember this. This is Amateur Artist Mark D. Chandler once again from Man Land. And there's two of the cupboards showing up now. They just pulled back from going to uh, somewhere in the cemetery, a yearly thing for her dad and all that stuff. You know, he passed away, and it's kind of a sad thing. But anyway, I think I'm going to give him a snake. All right, Bones. You got me. I was getting ready to fix me a bowl of some good Captain Crunch. Till I open up the package. Fucking Fruit Loops. You motherfucker. Here we we. What? Here's your damn brother in law. No, no, I ain't no kin to him no more. Oh shit. <laughs> That, that, uh, in the heart, but not on paper. <laughs> that mu that mu that. I told you to open that box. Well, it was open on the bottom. I found out after opening it up on top. I knew he had to have done something. It was more than just putting rubber snakes in there. I knew it had to be something. 
What's it been, four hours later when I told you you better open it? All I can say is that sorry son of a bitch. <laughs> Y'all need to unsubscribe from Bones Yard right now. He ain't yeah. worth a shit. You got a bowl on the table and everything. This will get you a big old bowl of Cap'n Crunch. Man, I'm looking forward to some Cap'n Crunch after you eating the fajitas. You got up in the top of that box and the first thing out your mouth was a ugly word. Oh my God, Sorry, ass son of a bitch. <laughs> I hope like hell next time you get a box of cereal and it's a fucking can of spinach. <laughs>